Hey everyone, it's V. Welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be doing a quick little vlog on the Reserva Ecologica in the Yucatan. I don't know if there's more than one. I really don't know much about it. Um, my landlord suggested it. It's in Progreso. Um, so I'm gonna take my bike there and vlog it. Really, no idea what to expect. I think there's cenotes and I think there's a parque, which is a park. We'll see. Let's go. Vamonos. Okay, so I'm just in the middle of editing right now and I filmed this a few weeks ago and I actually recently got hit by a car and I just want to say this helmet saved my life. You guys, I highly recommend getting a helmet like this. Um, yeah, I was just talking about how I needed to fill up on gas, but I decided to go straight to the Reserva instead because why not live life a little on the wild side? Also, it was really close. Um, so the parking lot for the bikes is there and the entrance for the vehicles is here. It's right on the side of the Progresso Highway. I don't know which highway, um, but yeah, this is the place. As you can see in the picture, it's called El Corchito and there's three cenotes, no parks, just like a little walkway between all the cenotes. And let's go get the tickets. You do have to pay by the way. So here I'm just coming in. You do need to wear a mask at all times and to bring your things in with you, you have to purchase a locker because you can't actually take it into the cenote area. Also, you can't wear sunscreen because it hurts the ecological system. So you literally you can't have anything on your body. Um, and here is where you pay and get your tickets. You can pay with cash or credit card. It's 90 pesos for tourists and 45 pesos for locals or if you have a residency card. I believe the lockers were 30 pesos and you have to pay in cash and you pay once you get there. Um, as you can see, there's bathrooms here and I'm just taking all my stuff because I purchased, I'm going to purchase a locker. And you just go to this little area and wait for the boat to cross the lake. Um, there's no crocodiles in this lake, but on the other side, I think there's crocodiles. I don't know, but no swimming here, folks. No swimming here. Gracias. Okay. So as you can see, the water is super green and you just have to cross on this little boat into this bushy area and when you're done the guy comes and picks you up and takes you back Gracias. so i arrived it was so breathtaking um it was hard not to stop and stare at everything there's a the little locker area and you see those little raccoons they're so cute um they're called mapaches i asked if i could pet one and the guy said uh no they will probably bite so don't touch the mapaches because i think they're a little bit sassy but they're so freaking cute anyways here's the entrance and yes you still need to wear your mask I believe it was 30 pesos. Oh, there it is, 35 pesos for the lockers. So I just put all my stuff in the locker. It's cash only here, folks. Um, yep, actually it wasn't that busy when I came. Um, there's only like a few groups, smaller groups of people. I came during a weekday. And look at the, the little mapaches, they're so cute. I just wanna grab one and take one home. But yeah, he said, do not touch these guys. <laughs> so this is where we came in by boat. As you can see, one of the cenotes is over there. I didn't go see that one because um, there's actually a bigger one I wanted to see that I found out about. And look at all the little fishies in here. There's fishies in all the cenotes here. And this sign says Orbor del Corcho, which literally translates to cork tree and as you can see, the vines are twisted like corks. It's really neat to see. 
Here's an area specifically for your feet and the little fishies will eat the dead skin off of your feet. Yeah, I don't know if I'll try that, maybe at the end. <laughs> I heard they tickle. Um, I'm kind of a baby, I haven't tried it yet. So here is the first cenote, Elechos. It's super small, but wow, the watercolor. Look at this color, you guys, it's beautiful. There's some fishies in here. And here are the cork vines. Look at how pretty it is, it's just twisted naturally. Here's a mabache playing in the water. Oh, he's washing his hands. Oh, there's another one's butt. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, let's go check out the other cenote. The first cenote is to the left. I, oh, you can see it. It's over there. I'm just about the same size, maybe a little bit bigger than the second one we just checked out. But the big one is down this trail, and that's the one I want to see. And it's called Pajaros. Pajaros? Pajaros. Cenote Pajaros. Vamanos, amigos. Y amigas. Honestly, just this walk to the cenote itself was so therapeutic. It is so beautiful here. The camera doesn't even capture the amount of beauty that this place has. So after about a five minute walk, we're here at the Grande Cenote. And there's a little water filtration thing going on here. Um, you guys look at the color of this cenote. It is so clear. Wow. As soon as I saw it, I fell in love. You can just see the moss and the tree roots and there's some bigger fish in here too but they don't bother you they just swim away when you stick your feet in there's a little bathroom area too basically everything you need to enjoy a beautiful day at the cenote hola hola i am taking a dip because you can't come all this way and not take a dip in the cenote Look at the fishies! Uh. Okay, I know I'm supposed to be talking over this video, um, but I'm editing right now and I want to go back. It was so incredible. This is one of my favorite cenotes I've been to. Just gonna do a little dip dive. Didn't realize that I couldn't see more than this, but it's okay, so enjoy. So nice. Oh my god. So refreshed right now, y'all. So refreshed. <laughs> Seriously, you guys, that was so so relaxing. I highly suggest coming to a cenote if you haven't already. It's so beautiful and peaceful here. <laughs> okay, so I stopped back at the exclusive feet place. Um, I'm sticking my toes in. All the little fishies came at once and it tickled so much. But yes, that was my little cenote in the Yucatan, one of the cenotes in the Yucatan. There's so many cenotes here. There's definitely many more on my list to check out. Um, but yeah, such an incredible experience. I highly, highly, highly recommend going to a cenote sometime in your life.
And that concludes my cenote vlog for Progresso. I ended up catching the sunset later on, on Progresso Beach. It's so magical here, you guys. I highly recommend coming to check it out. Um, but if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel for more travel, lifestyle, vlog, a little bit of everything. You know, all the good vibes. And if there's something specific that you would like to see, let me know in the comments below. And until next time, have an amazing day.